going into Losers Finals between Stormwatch and the conglomeration of Ian on Duel at Dawn. First off, for the red team, we have the Battering Ram, piloted by Finks. It is a heavy Carinade Goldfish. Left side light Carinade, right side Banshee, and their ally, Discovery. 80s Artemis Pyramidian, piloted by Lorne, left side Flamethrower Mine Launcher. For the conglomeration of Ian, we have the Irish Disco Biscuit, a Junker, left side a Hades Banshee Artemis, right side Banshee Gatling, piloted by Steamy Noodle, and finally their ally, Duck Duck Goose. It is a Huacha Goldfish, we've seen this one before, piloted by Nano Duckling, Gatling, and Light Carinade on the sides. Uh, already we have a fight starting. Discovery putting in some Hades art on the Duck Duck Goose. Duck Duck Goose returning Watcha in the process. Heavy Carinade has disabled the Irish Disco Biscuits Balloon. Conglomeration of Ian, they need to be careful not to get too separated here. Uh, that is something that the Heavy Carinade is very good at doing. Because once you knock out that balloon, it's very easy to separate the opposing team. Oh, Battering Ram! Battering Ram hitting this rope here that's made of, or I guess it's a steel pipe, bouncing off, forcing him back. It seemed like he might have been able to get the kill on that goldfish there, but Irish Irish Disco Biscuit back in this fight. He's going to be lending his support, his long-range fire. Red Team's not going to be able to take it, uh, uh, any sort of a drawn-out, straight-up engagement against that Mobula. That mobula is just, it has so much more firepower than the Discovery that before they have a, a full on engagement, they need the battering ram to separate one, to knock out one of these ships' balloons. It looks like target might be Irish Disco Biscuit. And we see a little bit of a positioning back and forth. Duck Duck Deuce preparing a Huacha. It looks like his target's probably going to be Discovery. Once they move into the rib, it looks like they don't want to wait. We see an Artemis shot going in onto the Huacha, but not able to disable. They spit out that Huacha. They take down both the guns on the Discovery. The Discovery is totally disabled. With the Irish Disco Biscuit, that not really... They've got some Hades coming out, but not enough to really do any meaningful damage to the whole armor. Veteran Ram disabling both the balloons of the blue ships. This would be a great opportunity for Stormwatch to move in and take out one of these targets. Looks like Veteran Ram's going to do just that, and the target's going to be the Duck Duck Goose. Irish Disco Biscuit has gotten his balloon back up. He's sidled around. He's putting a little bit of that Banshee art Hades. Onto the Battering Ram. Watch it coming out. Just poking out a little bit. Uh, let's see if they... Yes, they do take down all the guns on the Battering Ram. That Heavy Carinade is going to be out of the fight for a little bit. At the same time, the Irish Disco Biscuit... Taking damage from the Discovery. Gatling, coming from the Duck Duck Goose, taking down the whole armor of the Battering Ram... They're trying to get that Huacha back in arc, but the Battering Ram is going to Hydra up to dodge it, giving them enough time to rebuild. And unfortunately, the Duck Duck Goose rising up to follow. Uh, the ally is going to be not going to be able to contribute for a few more seconds, and they're facing down both the red ships. Huacha coming out, disabling the front guns of the Discovery, but their balloon is going to go down. Maybe not. This is Barely able to stay up. Uh, veteran Ram, I'm surprised they didn't go for a Ram here to knock it out, but second clip does do it. Ram coming out, doing a lot of damage, pushing them along. Duck Duck Goose barely able to drop out of the path of destruction, dropping into the ship. Their balloon is still down. They really need to get that up. Just barely scraping by there. Tar coming out. Veteran Ram is going to chase them down. I don't think they're going to be able to escape, even... A little supplemental fire from the Discovery for good measure. And their Disco Biscuits engaging the Discovery, but they're just going to shoot on past and eventually get out of the arcs. Duck Duck Goose. Not long for this world. 
gonna get smashed into the ground. The Irish Irish disco biscuit just putting so much effort into trying to keep up with the Pyramidian and now going to be wanting to do the opposite. He has a very short window in which he can kill this Pyra. And it's certainly something that's possible, but I don't think he's going to be able to now with the battering ram re-engaging. If he loses his balloon here, uh, that's probably going to be a, end up being a second point for Stormwatch. Battering, battering ram respecting the close range side. Re this is reasonable. The Gatlings are coming out from the Disco Biscuit. Oh, this positioning is really bad. Oh, this this is bad. Oh, it looks like Team Predators is going to be having pressed biscuits for breakfast. Uh, <laughs> potentially. Oh, it looks like Battering Ram actually backing off, letting uh, their gun do the talking. It Duck Duck Goose, like, hey, I'm coming to... Never... See, I wasn't... I wasn't here. I wasn't here. Oh, no. Hitting the inv hitting the invisible wall in the middle of the map. This oh no, duck duck goose. This is a bad spot. Balloon's gonna go down. The spawn from the junker is going to be very important here. They're gonna really they have to. I think they have to take a close spawn. I don't know if they can give up this kill, but it looks like they are going to. Duck duck goose. Not gonna be smashed biscuits, but it might be smashed goose. Yeah, he's not gonna escape from that. Uh, it is notable that Steamy Noodle has he's opted to wait out the lobby timer. I guess they already prepared to forfeit that kill. Uh, I do wonder where they're going to spawn. It looks like they're going to take the southernmost spawn behind the Leviathan. Uh, this is a very protected position. I'm not surprised to see it here. Both teams now have spawned back in. Uh, this is something they certainly can do. They can bring it back. They probably... Uh... I mean, really, they need what they need to do is they need to kill that Pyramidian. If the Junker can get their gun arcs at close range, they definitely can do it. I mean, the Gatling Banshee art will kill a Pyramidian very quickly. But they just they haven't had the opportunity. Battering Ram also uh, proving to be a big problem for them. I mean, the issue is that they need to kill this pyramid in before they start losing their balloons, because once they start losing their balloons, their uh, their formation completely falls apart, and they get very easily isolated. So it looks like Duck Duck Goose is going to be the distraction here. He's going to a nice watch of barrage onto Discovery. Biscuit pulling out. He's going to try to hit that Pyramidian, but they're still a little far away and continuing to back out. Although they are on the long range side, so we do have Hades. Not the movement of the, the Junker throwing off the Hades shots. Not very much landed hits. Badroom Ram going to be moving forward. He's going to pursue the Duck Duck Goose at close range, it looks like. But Biscuit forcing them back with that Gap Banshee. little bit of lag here. Battergram moving forward, taking out the balloon of the Disco Biscuit. Some Hades art. Those super annoying Hades shots that go through the, the gap between the balloon and the hull. Super annoying when that happens. Okay, looks like target uh, has been locked in. It is going to be the Disco Biscuit. Duck Duck Goose body blocking the battering ram, pushing them back. Uh, this might be the opportunity that Disco Biscuit has been looking for. If they can get their balloon back up and get a close range engagement on the Discovery, they're going to have the advantage, but they need to do it very quickly. They, it's kerosening forward. Um, Duck Duck Goose, balloon disabled. Unfortunately, the battering ram is waiting for them. So the window of opportunity may have already been passed by. 
Because with the balloon going out, they're not going to be able to chase. They are taking a lot of damage. Ooh, the side banshee. Side banshee on the battering ram. Almost single-handedly taking out that junker. Duck, duck, goose bumping the battering ram back. I don't think there's a whole lot they can do here. Maybe if, if they get the Gatling on the Discovery, they could potentially get a quick uh, Pyramidian kill. But if this fight gets drawn out, they're going to start losing their guns, and they're just going to succumb to the mid-range uh, firepower of the Hades Artemis. Bang Ram going for a ram. He wants to finish this very quickly, smashing him into the ground, getting dunked. And it looks like Stormwatch is moving on to the Grand Finals to play against Team Predators, running it back, 5-0 victory. That heavy carronade just proving to be just far too disruptive for blue team. People say watch is OP, but heavy carronade might be OP as well.